And speaking of the best, uh, my first guest has always been the great lady of country music. She gives this business a lot of class. She has a lot of class. She was uh, inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 1976. And she was dubbed the queen of country music by the legendary king of country music, Roy Acuff. Would you please welcome Miss Kitty Wells. As I sit here tonight, the jukebox playing The tune about the wild side of life As I listen to the words you are saying It brings memories when I was a trusting wife wasn't God made a honky-tonk angel As you said in the words of your song Too many times married men think they're still single That has caused many a good girl to go it's a shame that all the blame is on us women It's not true that only you men feel the same From the start most Ever broken was because there always was a man to blame. It wasn't God who made honky tonk angels, as you said in the words of your song. Once you get seated, I'll give you this microphone. All right. And welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Nice to be here. I'm delighted to have you on the show. Didn't you win another award just very recently? I sure did. Where did the you living, win? The Living Legend Award. Where did you win that? Uh, on the CNN Music City News Show. Are you the, were you the second woman to go into the Country Music Hall of Fame? Uh, first singer, first yes. female singer. Uh, yeah, well, Patsy Klein, you know, was, but I was the first living one. Okay, and, but I was thinking Minnie Pearl was the first female to go into the Hall of Fame. No, Am I uh, correct? Patsy, I think, Patsy was first. Patsy went first? Uh -huh, and then, then Minnie Pearl, and then I. Mm -hmm. Now, you have a book called The Honky Tonk Angels, and, I, and my, my picture's in here. I appreciate I that. <laughs> in fact, there's a picture in here. Lots of pictures. Yeah, lots of pictures. Ralph Emery nuzzles. That's what it says. <laughs> Ralph Emery, a big fan, nuzzles Kitty. No, longtime fan, Ralph Emery, nuzzles Kitty at Fanfare 85. Right. Mm -hmm. Our well, booth was next to yours, remember? Yes. Are you, are you up to a little nuzzling tonight? Well, I'll have to think about that. <laughs> tell, me, tell me the circumstances surrounding the time that Roy Acuff named you or dubbed you the queen of country music? 
Well, that was back in 53, I believe it was, in the late 52. I think it was 53. After Honky Tonk Angels? Right, after Honky Tonk Angels. And uh, all, we got so many fan letters and everything that uh, through the fan mail and all that, uh, Acuff and uh, Roy Acuff and, and uh, Freddie Rose, you know, had the publishing company. So they uh, thought that, that would be a good title for me. And uh, Solomon Judge presented me a uh, an award on the Grand Ole Opry stays. The, the Solomon hey. Judge is the man who created the Grand Ole Opry, and uh, and they they need for you to hold your microphone oh, okay. just a little higher. Or okay. talk louder. <laughs> now tell me about your book. Well, it, it's a biography book about about me, and of course Johnny and Jack, and has all of the a lot of interesting things in there. It tells when we started out and all the places we worked, and a lot of things that's happened on tours. And, does it talk about Muriel Deason? Yes. See, that's 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 your real <laughs> My name. My real name, right? Why did you change Muriel Deason to Kitty Wells? Well, we were working in Knoxville, Tennessee, and Lowell Blanchard, uh, who was the uh, manager of the station there and the MC of the midday merry-go-round, and uh, so we'd been working up there, Johnny and Eddie Hill and I. So he told Johnny that uh, the people like to hear that girl sing, and says. I think if she had a name easy to remember, that she might really go places in he this He didn't bedroom. like Muriel Deason. Well, I don't know if he didn't like it or not. He just thought maybe an uh, easier name to remember might be better. Uh, so. Aren't you named after a, an old folk song? That's right, an old folk song. Called There's a song called Sweet Kitty Wells. Mm -hmm. And Johnny came up with that, that title. You like that Johnny, don't you? Oh, sure. I, I'm, How I'm bound to. We've been married almost 56 years, you know. How many? 56 years. 56. <laughs> In October. When's your wedding anniversary? When, uh, when is your wedding anniversary? The 30th day of October. Uh, will that be the 56th? 56th. Uh -huh. uh, wedding anniversary. Right. You, were, uh -huh. you were just a little young. Well, I was young pretty young. When you got married. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, and Kitty is, is sort of a rarity in another way. She is one of the few homegrown country music stars. Lori Morgan is another one. Right. Uh, but there are not many uh, country music stars who were born here. No, I know. And you were born where, in Mount Juliet? No, South Nashville. You know, Johnny was born in Mount okay. Juliet. <laughs> you're, you're from out where uh, Whitehurst is from in South yeah, Nashville. Yeah, right, uh-huh. Well, Miss Kitty, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. And incidentally, if anybody would like to have a copy oh, of that let's, book, let's, let's plug that. <laughs> they can order it from our uh, Country Junction, which is called Kitty Wells, Johnny Wright, Family Country Junction, 240 Old Hickory Boulevard, Madison, Tennessee, 37115. You know, I'll bet you, how much is the book? $14. I'll bet you if people wrote Kitty Wells, Madison, Tennessee, right. they, yeah. you'd get it because sure she would. has a street <laughs> named after her out there. Yeah. Well, the Kitty, same street we're on. I Kitty just, Wells yeah, Boulevard. Right, uh-huh. All right, more from Nashville's favorite daughter, Kitty Wells. Uh, she'll be back to sing some more songs. Oh, do I have...